Hi there and welcome back to chapter 5, lecture number 16. And in this part we are focusing on the roof design. So right now it's a stretched UV without uh, an unwrap and it's the pain for the eyes. So let's do something with it. So we click it and it looks like this. Um, I want to fix it. And by that I mean I want to copy the roof and so make it a separated object and tweak that design. So switch to the face selection mode, go to the sides and select all of these. Yes, so both left and right should be selected and it isn't. I'll select these as well. And there's some vertices over there. Okay, Shift D, P, selection. Now we have a separated uh, roof, spacebar, set origin, origin to geometry, and important, <laughs> start display. Okay, so we have this separated roof. Press H to uh, hide it, and we're going to remove the existing roof. So select all of these faces, yes, and turn around, yes, that makes them all, and press X, faces. So we keep the faces on the front and the rear, but the roof is gone. Press Alt H, so we have our uh, duplication. All right, so one thing, oh, Press tab, control, uh, this is the face mode, and I want to go to the vertex mode. You can see there are a lot of edge lines up here, and remove all of them. These one, that one, and even this one. Okay, looks a little bit weird, I understand, but I have something uh, in mind to uh, add on this roof. So, I also want to remove these edge lines, and that one as well. Because I want to see squares. Double tap. Oh, turn off. Oh, proportional adding. That one as well. Squares are key because I'm going to add a subdivision surface. Yeah. And there is no really no artifact. This looks weird. I have no idea why. And that's because. Let's move this a little bit upwards. Hmm. Oh, I think I see control point. There is a extra vertice. So what I will do is add an edge line and a face. Okay. Sometimes you need to do some fixing. And uh, this is what it is. So let's continue with the roof. You're probably thinking, what are we going to do? Well, you will see in a minute. So drag this to the bottom. I will remove the existing materials and add a new one and go for a uh, principled. Yeah, that's easy to do it this way because uh, now we have already the principle there. Add a shader. No, add a texture, image texture. And we combine this with a base color and we select open and roof seven. And you can't see it because we didn't unwrap it. Select all of the vertices, you. Project from view, go to the UV image editor, select the planks, oh, the roof, seven. There it is. This is the roof texture. Maybe a bit different than you uh, expected, but uh, we're gonna use this one. So square vertices, very important. And make it a bit taller, so you have a little bit overlapping because this is a tileable texture. And you want to end there. I think this will work. We go to the material, do, 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 do. and we need to wait because uh, the texture is pretty big. Yeah, should be perfect. Okay, but we're not there yet. What we want to do is go to add a subdivision surface, a displacement, really looking whack. Uh, in edit mode, da, 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 da. what is it? Oh, yeah. Course, we need to select the displacement, new, open, roof 7 disp, go 
to find these in the lecture downloads. Go back and now click UV. It's uh, low poly, so we need to uh, increase the view. And of course, set this to maximum six, five, and even six to see how nice this looks. But there are some artifacts on the sides, and you click simple to fix this. And well, this is the roof we're gonna use. So I like to lower this roof or say as as X now. Yeah, low, lowering will do. Or I make it smaller. Yeah, small as Y. It's an object mode, control A, rotation and scale. Yes. Right. So view, let it be four, and if we go for a high resolution render, it automatically uses the sticks. But I prefer having something like this than the uh, the other one we used in chapter four, these uh, medieval tiles. And later we will add a sort of ceiling on top and the sides. But uh, at least this is uh, <laughs> this looks better than the, the previous one. And there was nothing there yet. All right, so we have a roof. And before ending this lecture, I want to do one more thing, and that is copy the window frame, and deselect the rest of the selection, shift D, rotate this with a snapping tool. And there we go. Go to the side view, drag this a little bit downwards, and put this right there. And what should we do? Scale this a bit more. A bit more, all right, and it needs to be inside of the frame R X R Y to stretch this a bit or to change the view a bit. Okay, or to have this right there. Same for this. You don't want it to blend in with the the building. Make a duplication. Shift D. We're putting it. Uh, we also duplicated the lamp. Well, it's not a disaster. And because we made this building a bit curvy, we need to change this all the time. What isn't a big problem, but we need to do it. We go remove the lamp because we don't need it. And do it one more time. Deselect, shift the. All right. And this one needs to be there as well. R, Y, and put this back. Yes. And material, nice. Of course, it still looks very clean, and we're going to do focus a lot on the uh, material settings for the plaster. Not a focus point at the moment, I just want to duplicate the, the windows. So, what you can do in this lecture, because uh, this is the end, do the same as what we did for the, the right side for the left side. So make um, um, add the window. So duplicate it, putting it right there. Use the snapping tool for rotating, and that will do. Good. This is the end of this lecture, and see you in the next one where we're going to focus on the rear side. Okay. Bye bye.